today, a cool start in the 40s. We're going to end up in the 70s to near 80 degrees with sunshine. Few clouds mixing in this afternoon, and we can't roll out a stray shower around dinner time or so, but most of us will stay rain free. Best chance of that isolated shower, isolated rumble of thunder across Franklin County. Meanwhile, temperatures come up into the 70s to near 80 degrees. Tomorrow, a little warmer, lower 80s, maybe a stray shower again. And for Saturday, clouds, a little sun in the morning for the pancake breakfast. It'll be mild with temps in the 50s, but coming up fast, 70s to near 80 again in the afternoon. A little bit of mugginess, but drying out in the afternoon on Saturday. Sunday, Mother's Day looks fantastic. Sunny, seasonable, with highs near 70. All right, let's check on today's top stories. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Dan. I'm Amanda Callahan. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. The East Hampton School Committee and City Council holding a joint meeting last night to discuss the school committee's future. The two groups discussed their next steps to fill two open school committee vacancies after two members stepped down following the dramatic fallout between the committee and their initial candidate for superintendent, Dr. Vito Perone, whose use of the word ladies in an email to two committees committee members sparked controversy. The community of Springfield is mourning the loss of a beloved teacher who was killed in a car crash in Palmer last week. Patricia Cable taught kindergarten at Samuel Bowles Elementary School for eight years. Flags have been flying at half staff in her honor at the school and parents have been dropping off flowers and teddy bears outside of Cable's classroom door in her memory. We're getting answers on the latest from the Springfield Board of Police Commissioners. The five-member board took over all police disciplinary responsibilities in 2022 after the state Supreme Judicial Court sided with the City Council efforts to replace the position of police commissioner with a board of commissioners instead. Most recently, Springfield Police Officer Jeffrey Alisea was suspended by POST, the Massachusetts Peace Officer Standards and Training Commission, which is an issue now taken up by the Board of Commissioners.